Hi, my name is Marika Sardar and I'm a curator at the Aga Khan Museum. I'm presenting the object of the week for our theme of collaboration, and I've chosen to share a painting that represents the work, literally and figuratively, of many artists coming together. Let's take a closer look. I've selected a painting from a manuscript I particularly like. It's called the Akhlaq e Nasseri, and it's a treatise on society and government that was written in the 1200s. The manuscript itself was made in the 1590s, many centuries after the text was written. This copy was probably made at the Mughal court workshop at Lahore, and possibly for the Emperor Akbar, who ruled from 1556 until 1605. As you can see, we're fortunate to have the complete manuscript here in the museum. So we have the full text of the treatise, as well as the 17 paintings that were made to illustrate it. Having a document like this, instead of single detached pages, gives us a sense of how an entire manuscript came together as a collaborative effort between calligraphers, illuminators, painters, papermakers, and bookbinders. The painting I've chosen very neatly illustrates the process of a manuscript being made. At this point in the text, we're in a section on politics, which follows earlier sections on ethics and economics. The author suggests that man survives better in a structured society, with a firm ruler at the head of a hierarchy, and then he provides several anecdotes to prove his point. One of these examples is of a master craftsman whose expertise is needed to guide those working below him. The artist has chosen to illustrate this example by showing his own working conditions. He's painted a manuscript workshop much like the one he must have operated in at the Mughal court. The architecture and dress of this scene is right out of the late 16th century, and it matches what we know about the bookmaking workshop in Akbar's time, with a team that at one point numbered over a hundred artists. The master craftsman is the figure seated on the right in a brown tunic and green shawl. He's instructing a younger artist who holds a page from a manuscript on a board balanced on his knee, watercolors and inks arranged on the ground in front of him. Other members of the workshop toil on other parts of the manuscript. The men seated in the center copy out text and images on fresh pages, while the man on the bottom right burnishes paper, preparing its surface to be written and painted on. Looking at a folio like this, you might not realize how many people contributed towards its creation, but in fact, it was a major collaboration. And while this is the kind of object you might pass by quickly at the museum, I hope you'll be inspired to take a longer look now that you know the amount of work that went into it. You can see all of the pages from this manuscript, learn the stories, and read about the text in the collections online on our website.